and we're going to import our file, which is in home slash goldfish laser. Oops, I don't really, what? No, I didn't. I didn't need this though. Um, um, so let's go to this laser slash, and what do we call it? Spyro dot cg. End quote. Wow. That's so neat. Okay. And then, in order, it seems to come with some sort of like default. But in order to make it just a little bit taller, we have to specify that. And OpenSCAD is unitless, but you can, for the most part, assume millimeters. And so I want it to be five millimeters tall. So now this is theoretically what I'm going to print. So I'm going to try it. I'm going to go print this. It's. I'm very interested to see what happens. I'd say an hour. I'd say an hour later. Um, so surprisingly, this would have printed, um, but I did have a little bit of trouble with my first layer sticking to the bed. And I went ahead and ran it anyway, but when I started to see that it actually was feasible, and I just kind of waited till I could remove it from the bed, and then I cut off the parts that didn't print right. And so, you know, I had put in five millimeters, so this is definitely not five millimeters, and that's because I removed it prematurely. But check that out. It was definitely having a go at it. So, um, there's a couple of things that I forgot to show when I pause the video. So, you're going to want to click STL and save, and save your STL file. And then you'll just open that up into your slicer program. And it's as easy as that. So, this was um, taking a SVG or PNG to SVG importing it into OpenSCAD and making something 3D out of something 2D. Thanks for watching.